Pollution is a pressing global issue that arises from the introduction of harmful contaminants into the environment, disrupting its natural balance and causing adverse effects on ecosystems, human health, and the planet as a whole. This is the channel Fractus TV, and today we will talk about the most polluted cities in the world. Please subscribe to our channel. It motivates me to create better videos for you. Mumbai, located on the country's west coast, is the most populous city in India and the seventh most populous city in the world. The city grapples with severe air pollution issues, rapid urbanization, a burgeoning population, and heavy vehicular traffic contribute to elevated levels of particulate matter. Industrial emissions, construction activities, and waste burning further deteriorate air quality. These pollutants pose significant health risks, leading to respiratory problems and other illnesses among the city's residents. The city's air quality is especially concerning during the winter months when weather conditions trap pollutants close to the ground. With recent information, Mumbai has an air quality index of 111, which falls under the unhealthy category. Mumbai's water bodies, including rivers, creeks, and the Arabian Sea coast, face pollution from untreated sewage, industrial effluents, and solid waste disposal. Contaminated water not only affects marine life, but also poses health risks to humans. Despite efforts to improve sewage treatment, the rapid urbanization and population growth in Mumbai continue to strain existing infrastructure. The local government and various environmental organizations have been working on initiatives to tackle pollution in Mumbai. Efforts to combat air pollution include promoting public transportation, regulating industrial emissions, and waste management initiatives. Despite these efforts, Mumbai continues to face challenges in its battle against air pollution, highlighting the urgent need for comprehensive and sustained measures to safeguard public health and the environment. Dhaka is the capital and largest city of Bangladesh, situated on the east bank of the Buriganga River. It is one of the world's most densely populated cities and serves as the political, economic, and cultural hub of Bangladesh. Dhaka is among the world's top five cities with the most poisonous air. The city grapples with several forms of pollution. Dhaka's air quality is among one of the poorest in the world. Vehicular emissions, industrial activities, and construction projects contribute significantly to the high levels of particulate matter in the air. Additionally, brick kilns, often located in and around the city, emit large amounts of pollutants, further deteriorating air quality. Prolonged exposure to such polluted air has adverse effects on public health, causing respiratory issues and other illnesses. DACA has an air quality index of 114, which falls under the unhealthy category. The city's water bodies, including the Buriganga River, suffer from pollution due to untreated sewage, industrial discharge, and improper waste disposal. This contamination not only affects aquatic life, but also poses serious health risks to those relying on these water sources. Efforts to combat pollution in DECA include initiatives to improve public transportation, promote green spaces, and regulate industrial emissions. However, the rapid urbanization and population growth continue to strain these efforts, necessitating more comprehensive and sustainable solutions to address the pollution crisis in the city. Delhi, the capital city of India, is one of the most polluted city in the world. India has long been grappling with severe air pollution. 30,000 Delhites die because of air pollution every year. It is one of the largest killer in India. 
India has the world's highest death rate from chronic respiratory diseases and asthma, according to the World Health Organization. On 25 November 2019, the Supreme Court of India made statements on the pollution in Delhi saying Delhi has become worse than hell. Vulnerable populations such as children and the elderly are particularly at risk. In Delhi, particulate matter is nearly 100 times the safe limit set by the World Health Organization and long-term exposure to it can cause severe respiratory ailments. During the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown in India, the water quality of the Yamuna and Ganges river basins has improved as industries are closed due to the lockdown. The air quality has also significantly improved during the lockdown. According to the National Disaster Management Authority and May, several measures can help denizens navigate through the bad air. It is better to avoid going out or indulging in outdoor activities during the early morning and evening hours, so staying indoors as much as one can helps. But if it is bright and sunny, one can go out. Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia, has experienced rapid urbanization and industrial growth in recent years, but it has also paid a significant environmental cost. In this video, we will cover the main factors of pollution challenges in Jakarta. Jakarta frequently grapples with poor air quality, primarily due to heavy traffic congestion and an abundance of vehicles on its streets. Emissions from cars and factories release harmful pollutants into the atmosphere, contributing to smog and respiratory problems for its residents. Jakarta Air Quality Index on average is 134, however, this data increases significantly in the summer months. Hotter temperatures, lack of rainfall, increased sunshine, and low wind speeds are all factors that increase air pollution in Jakarta's surrounding atmosphere during the drier months. The absence of efficient recycling facilities and limited waste segregation exacerbates the waste problem, adding to Jakarta's environmental woes. Residents endure respiratory issues, allergies, and skin problems due to exposure to poor air quality. Acknowledging the gravity of the situation, the Jakarta government has initiated several measures to combat pollution. Cleanup drives, tree planting initiatives are gaining momentum as citizens take ownership of their city's environmental well-being. It's vital to raise awareness and take collective action to protect Jakarta's environment and the health of its residents. Lahore, the heart of Pakistan, is a city steeped in history and culture. However, amidst its rich heritage lies a contemporary concern that has been increasingly difficult to ignore, pollution. Lahore frequently grapples with poor air quality, particularly during the winter months. The city's air becomes laden with smog, primarily due to factors such as vehicular emissions, industrial activity, and crop burning in neighboring regions. The consequences of Lahore's air pollution are far-reaching affecting the health of its residents. The current air quality in Lahore is approximately 141. Prolonged exposure can result in respiratory problems, cardiovascular diseases, and even premature mortality. Over the past 15 years, Lahore has lost a significant proportion of its tree cover due to an aggressive plan to build highways, underpasses, and overpasses Bicyclists and pedestrians who made up almost 45% of traffic in Lahore in 2015 remain a low priority when it comes to planning transport infrastructure, evidenced by the near absence of bike lanes or even sidewalks. Lahore, along with the rest of Pakistan, 
desperately needs to shift away from its reliance on fossil fuels. Doing so would help clean up the transport and energy production sectors simultaneously. By fostering collaboration between government industries and its proactive citizens, Lahore can overcome its pollution problems and strive for cleaner air, better health, and a brighter future. If we look at the listed cities, we will see that the main causes of problems are common in all of them. Pollution has become a significant threat, necessitating urgent attention, sustainable practices, and collaborative efforts to mitigate its far-reaching impacts. Understanding and addressing pollution is crucial to safeguarding the health of both our environment and future generations. There are cities that have already taken the right steps in this direction to solve the problem and have already achieved significant success. You can see the video about these cities with the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.